So, Ramona asked, How many different types of plants are in the garden? And, there are so many, we're talking about them grouped in plant families, because otherwise it just gets kind of like too crazy. So let's group them in plant families. We talked about the cucurbit family. That's our squash family. Now, right next to the squash family is the pea family, otherwise known as the legume family, okay? Legumes are really important because they bring nitrogen out of the air into the soil. It's really, really important. In fact, without that, we wouldn't have all the building blocks of us. So peas are very, very important. Now these here are sugar snap peas and they grow tall, okay? These are tall sugar snap peas and see how round and plump they are? Mm, they are so good. So this is one kind of pea, which is the sugar snap pea. Let's go see other kinds of peas that we have growing at the farm. So we had some tall varieties of peas over there that are snap peas. And here are some peas that grow shorter. They're sometimes easier to trellis, but they're still the same kind. They get plump and we get to eat them just like that. We also have varieties of peas that are called snow peas. Let's go look at some snow peas. I'm gonna go look for some big ones. Oh my goodness, look at all these. These are getting ready to pick. I forget what variety this is, maybe Oregon sugar pod, but I want to call, show you an Oregon giant snow pea. It's enormous. Uh oh, maybe I ate the biggest one the other day, but see how big these get? Look at those big sn snow peas. Wow. See that? Yum. That's good, huh? So these are snow peas. They're also the shorter variety and um, they vine, okay, just like pumpkins. So you can say, well, they're going up and they're vining like squash. So what makes a pea a pea? So peas, as I said, they bring nitrogen into the soil. And when we pull them up in the, you know, this summer, if you were here, you'd see these little nitrogen fixing nodules on them. It's really cool. But look, here's the pea flower. That is really different, isn't it? Peas don't have male and female flowers. That's a pea flower, and look at the little baby pea forming. Is that not cute? There it is, just fertilized. And then it gets bigger and bigger, and pretty soon it turns into a wonderful, delicious pea pod for you to eat. So those are the flowers of the pea family, very different. Now, there's one other kind of pea, which is the shelling pea. That's the one where you don't eat the pod like we do with a snap in the snow, but you open up the pod and you eat the peas inside. We aren't growing those, but you can, and they're very, very good. So this is the pea part of the legume family. We have other kinds of legumes. Let's go look up at our bean tunnel, okay? Oops, it's not a bean tunnel, it's a bean teepee. Oh, and we have a bean tunnel. I'm getting so confused. We have so many different structures for our beans. Okay, let's just go up there. Oh, I forgot. On the way to the bean tunnel are our green beans. Now, green beans, you can have pole beans to go up, just like those tall snap peas, or you can have bush beans that stay short just kind of like those short peas. These are bush beans that we're growing. They're still little babies, but they're gonna grow up and they're gonna have green beans that we can eat, okay? So these are our young green beans. Now, they are next to some dry beans. Let's go see the dry beans. You can see we planted these much earlier because they take a longer time to ripen. And these are the beans where you don't pick them when they're green, you let them mature and then they dry out, get little brown um, beans outside, they, they dry out. And inside, remember when we pop them open, we've got Rockwell beans and we've got Orca beans. Remember how much fun that is to see the beans pop out and the different colors they are? So these are the Orca and the Rockwell beans that we planted for you, that you're gonna um, open up in the fall, okay? Now let's go to the bean tunnel. 
So, here we are in our beautiful bean tunnel, but it's not so beautiful. You know why? There is a bunny living over there. We discovered it when we were shooting our video about the cucurbits, and we were over in the zucchini patch, and out popped the bunny, ran into the potatoes, ran over to those pumpkins, and into the compost bins. So now we have a little bunny. We know that we knew someone was nibbling the tops of our growing tips for our beans. See, now these are beans that grow up. See that? It's growing up, but look where the bunny ate it. Can you see where the bunny nibbled off the top? But fortunately, beans keep growing out of all the little notches there. They know maybe someone's gonna nibble them. They're not gonna give up. So now we've protected our bean tunnel from the little baby bunny, and it's gonna grow up, but this is called a vortex and we're gonna want that to grow over our bean tunnel we're growing, right? So that's a vining bean. We saw the bush beans. Let's go see the bean teepee. You can see our scarlet runner beans are really growing tall. Like, they're just going crazy. And they've started to flower. So we're talking about the legume family. Let's look at the flowers of the scarlet runner bean. See that? See how similar they are to the pea. So you can tell they're in the legume family because the flower is very similar, has the same features. And in this case, it's a legume that's vining. We saw the bush beans, they don't vine, but we saw peas that vine and beans that vine. So here's our vining scarlet runner bean. It's gonna run all the way to the top of our teepee with its beautiful flowers. Now, those are the kinds of legumes we have in our garden. Over at the high school, Kylie is growing garbanzos and lentils. Those are two other legumes that normally we don't grow a lot here, but we're trying them out over there just to see how they'll grow. So I'm gonna say goodbye from our Scarlet Runner Bean legume patch. And uh, next we're going to cover the mint family. Okay, see you later.